മുഖത്തിൽ വരച്ചിരിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ Thank you. 
the wedding ceremony. Today, wedding ceremony. Today, Hadi, welcome to you all. Hadi, welcome to you all. We are we are celebration of the celebration of the feast of the nativity feast of, of the nativity of Mother of God, Queen Mother Mary. Of God, Queen Mary. And very specially and today, very specially today, one of our kids, one of our kids are going to receive, are going to receive our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord very Jesus solemnly, Christ, very solemnly. And we are, and we are, Simon, Stefan, Simon Borgis, Stephen Borgis, Stephen Borgis, Stephen Borgis, Stephen Joseph, and Stephen Congratulations Joseph. to you, congratulations, congratulations to you, and anticipation. And we all pray for you, and, and we all pray, pray for you, and let us pray hope for all these kids all and their families and their families in today's mass and once again once again welcome to all celebrate let us celebrate this mass of our this mass of our feet uh, and uh, glorify god and glorify god pray my dear brothers and my dear brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters that we may offer this we may offer this holy kurbano for the intentions for of the intentions of this community especially for the especially for the intentions of May the Lord be pleased with your prayers and sacrifice and having it set to your offering. Let us come, let us with you, with you. Please be seated for, Please the, be Old seated for the Old Testament reading. Reading from the book of reading from the book of glorious prophet Isaiah. Praise to the Lord of the prophets. Let his mercy be on us forever. Comfort, give comfort to my people. Says your God. Says your Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her. That her service is that her service is that her guilt is her guilt is Indeed, she has received indeed she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out. A voice cries out. The desert prepare the way of the Lord. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. For our God. Every valley shall be filled. Every valley shall be filled. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. Shall be made low. The rugged land shall make be a plain. The rough country. The rough country. Broad valley, a broad valley. And the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all mankind, and all shall mankind see it together. shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has so spoken. The mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, a voice cry says, out, cry out. I answer, what I shall answer, I cry out? What shall I cry all out? Mankind is all grass, mankind is grass. And all their grass, grass, glory like the flower of the field. The grass withers. The grass the flower withers. Wilts, the flower wilts. The breath of the Lord, the breath of the Lord blows upon it. So then, the people is the grass. The people is the grass. Through the grass. With the grass, the flowers, and the flower, the word of our God stands forever. The word of our God stands forever. Go up on the high mountain. Go up on the high mountain. Zion, Zion, glad tidings, glad tidings. Hide on top of your voice. Hide on top of your voice. Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Herald of good news. Herald of good news. Fear not to cry out. Fear not to cry out. And say to the seas of Judah. Here's your God. Here's your God. Power. Here comes the power. Here comes the power. The Lord God. Rules by his strong arm. Rules by his strong arm. Here's his reward with him. Here's his reward with him. His recompense before him. His recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs. He gathers the lambs. Carrying them in his Carrying them in his bosom. And leading with ease with care. Parakimor. Parakimor. Dear brothers and sisters, 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 dear
Perseverance. And let perseverance, and let be, perfect. perseverance be perfect, so that you may be perfect, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing, lacking in nothing. But if any of you lacks wisdom, any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who should ask to all, who gives to generously all, and generously and ungrudgingly, and He will be given and it. He will be given it. But He should ask, but He should ask in faith, not in doubting, faith, not doubting. For the one who doubts, for the one who doubts, is like the wave of the sea that is driven and tossed out by the wind, tossed out by the wind. For that. For person that must not suppose person must not suppose that he will receive anything, that he will receive anything from the Lord. From the Lord, since he is a man of since two he minds, is a man of two minds, unstable in all his ways. Unstable in all his ways. Baratimor, Baratimor, preaching of hope. Paul to Vatican, 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 
And drink the claim the death of the Lord until he comes. The Lord until he therefore, comes. therefore, whoever eats the bread, whoever eats the or bread, drinks the cup of the Lord, drinks the cup of the Lord, will have the answer for the body. Answer for the body. And, blood and, blood the Lord. and blood of the Lord. A person should examine a person should examine himself. And so, eat the bread and, so, and drink the bread and drink the cup. For anyone who eats for anyone who eats and drinks without discerning, the body and drinks judgment and drinks judgment on himself.
My dear sisters My and dear brothers, sisters in, Jesus and brothers Christ, in Jesus Christ, today, today, our cathedral parish, our cathedral family, parish family is celebrating an anticipation, anticipation, the feast of the nativity, the of, of, the nativity Mother Mary, of Mother Mary, the heavenly patroness, the heavenly patroness of, our of our church. The actual feast the actual falls feast on, 8th, falls on September. 8th September. On this, blessed occasion, On this blessed occasion, I wish you all, I wish you all a happy feast, a happy feast, and invoke the and invoke motherly the blessings, motherly the blessings Virgin Mary, the blessed Virgin Mary, upon the entire, upon the entire parish, parish, community, community, and especially, and especially for our first, for our communicants, first communicants. The first holy communion, first holy communion is one of the is most, one of the important, most and significant important and significant events among our feast among day our celebrations, feast day celebrations this, year. this year. By the providence of God, the providence of God we have, we have four, four first holy, first holy communicants. They are, they are Stefan Simon. Simon, please stand up, please stand up. And the parents, and the parents, Simon and Simon Vincent. and Vincent. Please stand up. Please stand up. Thank you. Thank you. The second is Rayon. The second Vergis, is Rayon Vergis, son, of son of Binu and Binu Sangi with and their Sangi with their parents. The third, the Stephen Joseph, son of Benjamin and Rana. Fourth, Jeevan Vergis, son of Gretchen and Tanya. Please be seated. On behalf of this parish and the entire eparchy, I wish them cordial congratulations and prayerful felicitations. I take this opportunity to express our deep appreciation to the parents of these children for their sacrificial initiatives to prepare their children for this great spiritual event. Special appreciation to all who prepared and supported them for this spiritual first communion. I acknowledge with gratitude the animations of our reverend sisters, Sita and Kanchana, in this regard. Above all, we are deeply indebted to our pastor, Nobiaji, for his most dedicated services for teaching these children and guiding the parents and the whole parish community. I have seen him investing a lot of energy in the faith and the Eucharistic formation of these children. Indeed, it is praiseworthy and exemplary. Thank you, sir. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, we know that although these children had received the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ on their baptism day when they were infants, but today they received the Eucharistic Lord with full knowledge and motivation. Hence, this Eucharistic communion is a special milestone in their spiritual journey of life. On this day, 
we all rejoice with them and we pray for them my dear stephen rayon stephen and jeevan today is the most rememberable and blessed day in your life because you are receiving jesus christ as your lord and god you are receiving jesus as your personal savior in and through the most precious body and blood of jesus you receive the greatest gift in your life god gives himself to you through this eucharistic communion and manifests his unconditional love for you that means your god who is your creator your god who is your provider your god who is your savior your god who is your ultimate judge this great god comes to dwell in your hearts in a sacramental manner the almighty god who revealed and incarnated in the person of jesus christ is giving himself to you as an expression of his personal love for you for jesus taught there is no greater love than giving oneself to the beloved please remember you are receiving the eucharistic communion on a very significant occasion namely in connection with the feast of the birthday of our heavenly mother mary eucharistic communion means receiving a real jesus christ in one's heart sacramentally in the form of bread and wine as meant and instituted by jesus christ himself this communion of jesus christ involves a special relationship and connectivity with mary the mother of jesus there is a unique relationship between mary and the eucharist we believe that jesus christ present in the eucharist was born of virgin mary unless mary had conceived him and he had given him flesh and blood he could not have at the last supper said this is my body and this is my blood given up for you i repeat unless mary had conceived him and had given him flesh and blood he could not have at the last supper said this is my body and this is my blood given up for you all our bodies are from our parents but the body of christ comes from his mother only because jesus had no human father as we all have that is why saint augustine says eucharist begin uh, eucharist began in the womb of mary this is a strong statement eucharist began in the womb of mary the flesh of jesus is the flesh of mary the flesh and blood of jesus which he offered as food and drink for our eternal life as described in the gospel of john chapter 6 are formed from mother mary however please remember today through the eucharistic communion we receive the body of the risen lord the resurrected jesus christ only those who believe in the words of jesus and only in faith we can comprehend this mystery of faith in the eucharist we see only what looks like bread and wine what tastes like bread and wine but faith tells us 
that it is not bread and wine, but they are precious body and blood of Christ. It is not a scientific truth, instead a theological truth. In the case of the Eucharist, the word of God matters rather than any experimental statements. Therefore, based on the word of God and revelation, the church teaches that without Mary, there is no incarnated Jesus. Without Mary, there is no incarnated Jesus. And without the incarnated Jesus, there is no Eucharist. Therefore, Mary and Eucharist are intrinsically interrelated. And today, on the feast, of, feast day of Mary, the feast of the nativity of Our Lady, we acknowledge with gratitude the special role of Mary in the birth of Jesus and his salvific mission and in his continued Eucharistic presence in the church today. Jesus Christ, our Lord, instituted the sacrament of Eucharist to sanctify and purify true believers, to ennoble and enable the true believers, to heal and redeem the true believers, to empower and transform true believers. In this faith, dear sisters and brothers, let us receive Holy Communion today. Mary tells us today that Jesus Christ is alive and present amidst us through the Eucharist. And when we believe and receive the Holy Communion in a worthy manner, we participate in the life of Christ. It enables a profound sense of communion with God. St. Teresa of Lisieux writes in her autobiography about her own experience of the First Holy Communion. She writes, I felt that I was so loved by Jesus. And I said to Jesus, I love you, Jesus, and I give myself to you forever. And she continues, On the First Communion Day, my experience was a fusion. Jesus and I were no longer two. I had vanished in him as a drop of water vanishes in the ocean. Jesus alone remained. She recalls that, ex that she experienced the same spiritual joy and ecstasy whenever she received the Holy Communion and when she received Holy Communion daily. Yes, sisters and brothers, in Christ, we see similar expression in the case of St. Paul who writes, I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. In the history of church, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ, we come across several stories of many people who lived and died in the power of the Holy Eucharist. Time limitations does not permit me to highlight such real and inspirational stories. We read in the contemporary history, during the moon landing mission of Apollo, the great American astronaut Edwin Alton carried Holy Communion with him to the moon and consumed Holy Communion as he landed in moon. Recently canonized, a boy saint named Carlo Maria Acutis in Italy. His story tells that he had a passionate love for Jesus Christ and the Eucharist and he received Holy Communion daily. And for the propagation of this passionate love for Christ, he prepared and collected 
more than 140 Eucharistic miracles happened in the world and prepared a digital library for the devotees. Recently in India, a young girl, a lady named Ancha George, she experienced Eucharistic power in her daily life, who died recently in the month of January 2022. Her story we find in YouTube media is so move, moving and touching. We all, from our own experience, can enumerate numerous examples of ordinary people who receive Holy Communion daily and live in the power of the Eucharist daily. I know in the villages, the farmers, before they go for farming and cultivation, they attend Holy Kurbono. And by the power of the Holy Kurbono, they work in the field and produce products for the welfare of humanity. I know scientists, teachers, ordinary workers, they go to church daily and receive inspiration and power from the Eucharist in order to continue their mission in their respective fields. Today, as these four children receive Holy Communion, and we too, let us pray that we may experience the presence and power of Christ in our lives amidst all our experiences. Like Mary, the mother of Jesus, we too need to be and to become bearers of Christ in this con complex world which is dominated by evil powers. May this feast day celebrations bring us closer to God and to one another as true believers in the spirit of faith and love as manifested in the life of Mother Mary. This cathedral family, which is dedicated to the Mother Mary, and these first communicants, when we receive the Holy Communion and receive this Holy Krubono, pray with Mother Mary and praise the Lord, the same Magnificat. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Parkimors Tomen Kalos Turi Let us pray and beg for mercy and compassion from the Lord. Merciful Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. Make us worthy, O Lord God, to offer praise, thanksgiving, glory, honor, and exaltation without ceasing and at all times forever. Praise to the pure sacrifice who became a priest unto himself and became an acceptable oblation to the Father for the sake of his flock. Praise to the blessed Lamb, who in his love was stretched out on the arms of the cross, and who redeemed the people and the nations by his death. To him are due glory, honor, at this time of the celebration of the divine Eucharist, and at all feasts, seasons, hours, and times, and all the days of our lives forever and ever. O so, wabukul suba, allowal me. Amen. more before the merciful Lord, and before this atoning altar, and before these divine and heavenly mysteries, incense is being set. Let us pray and beg for mercy and compassion from the Lord. Merciful Lord, 
and pardon our offenses wipe away my great and innumerable sins and those of your faithful people O oh Lord God have pity and be merciful to us Lord in your mercy remember our souls and souls of our fathers and mothers our brothers and sisters our elders and teachers, our departed ones, and all the faithful departed, the children of the holy and the glorious church. Give rest to their souls, spirits, and bodies, and shed the dew of your mercy and compassion on them. Be to us and to them absolution and the absolver of sins. O Christ, our King, our Lord, the Lord of glory, answer us, O Lord, and come to our aid and save us. In your mercy, receive our prayers and keep us free from all harm. Deliver us, Lord, from all chastisements in your loving kindness. O Lord, Remove from us the dread scourge of your wrath. Make us worthy of the end that befits a Christian and is pleasing and proper to your divinity. We will offer you praise and thanksgiving now and always and forever. O show Abukul Subhanallah will me. Exalted world, heaven is contained in your palm, yet you are carried in the hands of the earthly ones as atonement. O mighty one, the powerful company of Serubim, tremble on account of your radiance, yet the church and her children take delight in your holy body. O Radiant One, the company of Seraphim, shunder before you, but mortal men are nourished by you. O Kind One, your goodness accept no change, nor your priesthood. Transformation. O living, O life-giving cluster, those who crucified you, pressed you, but they did not taste, whereas the faithful receive you. O heavenly bread, those who partake of you never hunger. O spiritual drink, those who drink of you do not thirst. You are the fruit who grant eternal life to those who receive you. And you are the fountain who make those who drink of you inherit unending blessing. You are the sweet sustenance who, even if eaten daily, is never consumed. And if drunk every day, is never finished. You are always broken, but you never die. You are given continually, but never depleted. O living one, those who believe in you rejoice, but those who scrutinize you are put to shame. O most high and infinite God, with the fragrance of this sweet incense, we entreat you and your ineffable love towards humankind. Grant us the grace to understand how great it is to stand before your holy altar. 
Grant us interior sight to behold you. Spiritual ears to hear your commandments. A pure heart that prays with humility. Good thoughts which are pleasing to your divinity. Lord, give us pure hands to administer your ministries. Give us, Lord, innocent lips that praise and give thanks to you for your mercy. Give us pure tongues that glorify your holy name. Give us holy mouths that partake of your body and spiritual tongues which taste your blood. Your plenitude will satisfy our hunger and the sweetness of your fountain will quench our thirst. May we always praise you with the fruit of our lips and sing joyful songs with our tongues and glorify you in true faith. May we and our faithful departed rejoice in you as one body. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your Father and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever. O so, wabu kul suba alluwal me. Amen. May the Lord accept your service and help us through your prayers. May we receive from God pardon offenses and forgiveness of sins in both worlds forever. Amen. I, weak and sinful servants, confess and say, Kadi Abo Kadi He who hallows the incense of his sinful servant and extends mercy to our souls and the souls of our mothers and fathers, our brothers and sisters, our elders and teachers, our departed and all the faithful departed, the children of the Holy Church in both worlds forever. Amen. more divine wisdom is proclaimed. Let us stand respectfully and respond. We believe in one God. The Father, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Eternally begotten of the Father, before all ages, life from life, true life from true God, begotten of me, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary, and became incarnate. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again, according to his holy will, and ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in great glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life to all, who proceeds from the Father, and who with the Father and the Son 
He's a joy and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets and apostles. We believe in the one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We confess from baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. See the time of petition and the time for remission. This is the time for worship, the proper time of God's mercy. of mercy. Grant peace to your church and protect the world by your grace. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. Let us give the holy and divine kiss of peace to each other in the love of our Lord and our God. O Lord God, make us worthy of this peace throughout our life. Let us bow our heads before the merciful Lord. We bow our heads before you, our Lord and our God. O Lord, let your right hand full of blessings, rest upon your servants and your worshippers who bow their heads before you. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. O oh Lord, strengthen us that we may offer you this spiritual and bloodless sacrifice on account of the sins and iniquities of your flock. By this sacrifice, wholly forgive our transgressions and offenses. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever. Amen. more, brethren, let us all meditate on this awe-inspiring holy Corbano with true faith, piety, love, and reverence. For this living and divine sacrifice, which is being offered on behalf of us, to God the Father, the Lord of all things, is for our peace and tranquility. This Kurban is blessing, peace, sacrifice, and thanksgiving. Ubo, daloho, abo. The love of God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, 
the communion and the abiding presence of the Holy Spirit be with you, my brethren, forever. Amen. And to the Holy Spirit. Let our minds and thoughts and hearts be raised on high to Christ our God, who sits at the right hand of God the Father. Our, our minds, thoughts, and hearts are with the Lord our God. In fear and reverence, let us give thanks to the Lord. It is just and right to give thanks to the Lord in fear and reverence. Let us glorify him whom the angels, the archangels, cherubim and seraphim, thrones and dominions, and all the invisible and innumerable heavenly orders, coils and hosts, unceasingly praise with indescribable words and unceasing songs of victory, proclaiming and saying, Holy, 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 of love for us and for the sake of our salvation. He willingly emptied himself and suffered in the flesh. On the night of his passion, he took bread in his holy hand and gave thanks to you. Burning he blessed, sanctified, broke and gave to his disciples, saying, Take and eat of it, this is my body, broken for you and for many, for the remission of sins and life eternal. same way he took the chalice mixed with wine and water and gave thanks. But he blessed, sanctified, and gave to his holy apostles, saying, Take and drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins and life eternal. Amen. Our Lord commanded his disciples, saying, Whenever you celebrate these holy mysteries, commemorate my death and resurrection, until I come, Lord, your death we exalt, and your resurrection we proclaim, your second coming we 
Recipients of your grace, offer you praise and thanksgiving for your loving mercy to and for all things, now and always and forever. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, and we thank you. O Lord God, have pity and mercy upon us. Parkimor, my beloved, how holy and sacred is this moment when the living Holy Spirit descends from the heavenly heights and hovers upon and sanctifies this divine Corbano. Let us pray in fear and reverence. May peace and tranquility be with us all. Answer me, O Lord. Answer me, O Lord. Answer me and have compassion and mercy on us, O Lord. Free thy soul, free thy soul, thy soul. May the Holy Spirit come upon this bread and make it the body of Christ our God. Amen. And may the Holy Spirit perfect the mixture in this chalice and make it the blood of Christ our God. Amen. O Lord, by the reception of your holy body and blood, may we all become inheritors of your heavenly kingdom and be made worthy to rejoice in the new life with the saints. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever. Amen. Amen. again we pray. For all the followers who rule the churches of God in the four quarters of the world, especially those who shepherd us, the head of the universal church, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, the head and father of our church, Moramor Basilios Klimis Catholicos, and our bishop, Abumar Stephanos, and with them, let us pray for all the bishops of the true faith, and all priests, deacons, and ascetics, and for the entire Christian church, let us pray to the Lord. O oh Lord, enlighten your shepherds with the light of your divine teachings and grant to us prosperous and peaceful lives. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever. Amen. Again we pray for our faithful and true Christian brethren, especially those now facing trials and tribulations. Let us pray to the Lord. and care for the weary, the persecuted, the afflicted, the distressed, the poor, 
those in need, the strangers, the downtrodden, the captives, the destitutes, the orphans and the widows. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Barakimor, again let us pray for our rulers and leaders, that they may lead us in truth and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Breathe O Lord, grant us your grace that we may lead a comfortable and pleasant life before you, that we may be treated mercifully by those who rule over us. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever. Amen. Barakimor, again let's remember the holy, glorious, blessed, and ever Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and with her let us remember our Father, the Apostle Thomas, the prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, and confessors. May their intercession be a stronghold to us, let us pray to the Lord. O oh Lord, by the petition and intercession of Mother Mary and of those who pleased you by their righteousness, make us worthy of the portion and the Lord that are with them. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever. Amen. Barakimor, again, let's remember the Holy Fathers and Reverend Doctors who kept the one true apostolic faith undefiled and handed over to us. May their prayer be a stronghold to us. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh Lord, confirm us on the rock of the true faith, confirmed by the holy and the ecumenical councils. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever. Amen. Barakim, again, let us remember all those who depart from us in true faith and love. Let us beseech the Lord that he might grant them the pardon of offenses and forgiveness of sins, and that he, may, he might lead us in them into the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord and say three times, Kuriyelai Son. O Lord, do not allow our departed to be subdued by the powers of darkness. Deliver them from the bondages of evil spirits and from all torture and misery. Let the light of your only begotten Son shine upon us and them through him we hope to receive for us and for them forgiveness of sins and obtain mercy O Lord console and justify all the faithful depart in the true faith forgive all the offenses committed by them and by us before you willingly or unwillingly Knowingly or knowingly. O Lord, in the abundance of your mercy, give answer to our prayers. Deliver us and our faithful departed from the judgment to come and the tortures reserved for the wicked. May your blessed name be praised and glorified together with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and that of your Holy Spirit 
now and always and forever. Amen. As it was, and is, and shall remain from generation to generation, to all ages, forever and ever. Peace be with you. And with your spirit, Mother Mercy of the Great God, our Savior Jesus Christ, be with you, my brother and forever. O gracious Lord and sure soul, With clarity of mind, purity of thought, simplicity of tongue, cleanliness of body, and confidence in soul, we pray together in loud voice that prayer which your only begotten Son taught us, our Father who art in heaven. How will be thy name? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Merciful Father, who made us worthy to be called your children, deliver us from hard temptations, save us from the evil one and from his evil powers and from the malice of the wicked men. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Arkimar, before we receive the holy mysteries which have been offered, let us bow our heads before the merciful Lord. 
We bow our hands before you, our Lord of our God. O great and almighty King, under the scepter of your sovereignty, all creation bends down. Send your blessings upon your holy church, who stands before you with head bowed. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. May the grace and mercy of the Holy and glorious Trinity uncreated, self-existent, eternal, worshipful, and consubstantial be with you, my brethren, forever. Amen. Parkimore, let us stand in awe and reverence. Lord, have pity and mercy on us. Holy mystery, the holy people. There is none holy but the one holy Father, the one holy Son, and the one holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and, and to, to the Son, and to the living Holy Spirit, one God forever. Father, who created the universe in his mercy, be with us. Amen. Let the one holy Son, who redeemed it by his precious passion, be with us. Amen. Let the one living Holy Spirit, the perfecter of all that has been and that will be, be with us. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever, that we become God's children. Those who taught us to
സംരക്ഷകനും കാവൽക്കാരനുമായിരുന്ന വിശുദ്ധ യൗസേപ്പ് പിതാവിൻ്റെ മാധ്യസ്ഥം അപേക്ഷിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് നമ്മുടെ എല്ലാ കുടുംബങ്ങളെയും വിശുദ്ധിയിലും നന്മയിലും സ്നേഹത്തിലും സമാധാനത്തിലും വളർത്തണമേ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം നയവാൻ നമ്മുടെ പൂർവികർ മാതാപിതാക്കൾ നമ്മുടെ ബന്ധത്തിൽ നിന്നും മരണം മൂലം വാങ്ങിപ്പോയ എല്ലാവരെയും അനുസ്മരിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് അവരുടെ മാധ്യസ്ഥം അപേക്ഷിച്ചുകൊണ്ടും അവർക്ക് വേണ്ടി പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചുകൊണ്ടും പരേതരുടെ ഓർമ്മയിൽ ഈ ധൂപം സമർപ്പിക്കാം മക്കളിൽ അപ്പൻ കൃപ ചെയ്തുപോലെ ദൈവം കൃപ ചെയ്യും ശുഭഹോലാമൂല 
as follows first the four first communicants will receive the holy eucharist in double species and that will be followed by the reception of the holy eucharist by the parents and the siblings uh, and if the grandparents present and after that as usual we have the opportunity to receive the holy communion in four stations O Son of God, who came for our salvation and will come for the resurrection and renewal of our race, may pardon come upon your servants from the atoning altar forever. Amen. Amen. Stretch forth, Lord God, your invisible right hand and bless this assembly of your worshippers who partake of your holy mysteries for the pardon of offenses and the forgiveness of sins and confidence in your presence our Lord and God forever Amen the blessing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be on those who carry, give and receive these holy mysteries. Mother, mercy of the Holy Trinity, be on those who have labored and have had part in them in both worlds forever.
life called of the body and blood of Christ our God is given to the true believers for the pardon of offenses and forgiveness of sins in both worlds forever
which we have drunk be not for our judgment and condemnation but for the life and salvation of our soul o lord have mercy on our soul the of your holy body and precious blood we will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten son and your holy spirit 
now and always and forever. Peace be with you. Peace with your spirit. Parkimor, let us bow our heads before the merciful Lord. We bow our heads before you, our Lord and our God. O Lord God, Jesus Christ, of your own will and that of your Father and of your Holy Spirit, you were sacrificed for us and gave us your holy body to eat and your atoning blood to drink. Confirm us in your love Fill us with reverence for you. Establish in us your faith. Adorn us with blameless conduct and forgive our sins and those of our departed so that we may continually glorify you and God the Father who begot you and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever. Amen. Bless us, O Lord, Almighty. God us, you are creator. Show us kindly the living way, Lord, who is our protector. Bless you. grace and mercy of the holy and glorious trinity with the provisions and blessings which you have received from the holy altar of the Lord. Amen. You who are far and near, living and departed, redeemed by the victorious cross of the Lord, and sealed with the sign of the holy baptism, May this Holy Trinity pardon your offenses and forgive your faults and give rest to the souls of your departed. Amen. May I, his weak and sinful servant, obtain mercy and help by your prayers. Go in peace, be glad, Rejoice and pray for us. Amen. May the Lord accept your sacrifice and help us by your prayers. Blood out of my dead soul.
prayers, the special intercessory prayers uh, to Mother Mary. Page number 249, the Malayalam Kurbana Kramam. Annenin prarthename vette nyangalodum ni charthenagetti tegi Bro. 
ശുഭോലാബോലബ്രോവൽ റൂഹോ ഖാദീശോ കരുണ്യവാനായ കർത്താവേ നിന്റെ കരുണയുടെ വാതിൽ ഞങ്ങൾക്കായി തുറന്നു തരണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ശരണം നിന്നിലായിരിക്കുന്നതിനാൽ ഞങ്ങൾ രചിച്ചു പോകുമാറാകരുതേ നീ മുഖാന്തരം സകല ദുരിതങ്ങളിൽ നിന്നും ഞങ്ങൾ രക്ഷപ്രാപിച്ച് വീണ്ടും കൊള്ളപ്പെടുമാറാകണമേ ഞങ്ങളെ രക്ഷകനും വീണ്ടെടുപ്പുകാരനും നീ ആയിരിക്കുന്നതിനാൽ ഞങ്ങളോട് ദയുണ്ടാകണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ രഹസ്യവും പരസ്യവുമായ തെറ്റുകളെയും കുറ്റങ്ങളെയും ഓർക്കരുതേ കർത്താവേ ഞങ്ങളോട് നീ കോപിക്കുകയും വരുതേ നിന്റെ കരുണയാലും മനുഷ്യ സ്നേഹത്താലും ഞങ്ങളെ കാത്തുകളയണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ശത്രുക്കൾ നിന്ന് ഞങ്ങളെ രക്ഷിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യണമേ എന്തുകൊണ്ടെന്നാൽ നീ ഞങ്ങളെ ദൈവവും ഞങ്ങൾ നിന്റെ ജനവുമാകുന്നുവല്ലോ നല്ലവനായ ഞങ്ങളുടെ കർത്താവേ നിന്നെ പ്രസവിച്ച വിശുദ്ധ കന്യകമറിയാം എൻ്റെ മധ്യസ്ഥ പ്രാർത്ഥനയാൽ ഞങ്ങളോട് കരുണയുണ്ടാകണമേ മാതാവിന് തിരുസന്നധിയിൽ ധൈര്യവും മുഖപ്രസന്നതയും ഉള്ളത് കൊണ്ട് ഉത്തമനായല്ലോവേ ദേതോന്നി ഞങ്ങളുടെ മേൽ അനുഗ്രഹം ചെയ്യണമേ Amen. Mm-hmm. 
പരിശുദ്ധ സ്ഥലത്ത് എല്ലാ പരിശുദ്ധന്മാരെയും കാണത്തിനതിനായി സ്തുതി ചെയ്യുന്ന വചനമായ ദൈവത്തെ പ്രസവിച്ചവളും സകലത്തെയും കാൽ മഹത്വമുള്ളവളുമായ മാതാവേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഈ അപേക്ഷയെ നീ കൈക്കൊള്ളണമേ ഞങ്ങളെല്ലാവരെയും നിന്റെ മധ്യസ്ഥതയാൽ ദുഃഖങ്ങളിൽ നിന്നും ആപത്തുകളിൽ നിന്നും വിടുവിക്കണമേ എല്ലാവിധ ദോഷകരമായ പ്രതികാരത്തിൽ നിന്നും സംരക്ഷിക്കണമേ ഞങ്ങൾ നിന്റെ മുൻപാക ഉച്ചത്തിൽ കേണപേക്ഷിക്കുന്നു കരുണിയുടെ വാതിലെ സകല നന്മകളുടെയും ഭണ്ണാരമേ തന്നോട് അപേക്ഷിക്കുന്നവരെ ലജ്ജിപ്പിക്കാത്തവളായി ഞങ്ങളുടെ നാഥയും കന്നികയുമായി അമ്മേ ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിക്കുവാൻ നീ വേഗത്തിൽ എഴുന്നള്ളി വരണമേ നിന്റെ സ്വീകാര്യ പ്രാർത്ഥന വഴിയായി ബലഹീനരായി ഞങ്ങളെ ശക്തിപ്പെടുത്തണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ രോഗങ്ങളെ സുഖപ്പെടുത്തണമേ നിന്റെ അപേക്ഷയാൽ ഞങ്ങളുടെ കറകളെ മായിച്ച് ആത്മാക്കളെ വിശുദ്ധീകരിക്കണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ വിചാരങ്ങളെ നിർമ്മലമാക്കുകയും വഴികളെ നേരെയാക്കുകയും ചെയ്യണമേ മാതാവേ നിന്റെ മധ്യസ്ഥതയാൽ ക്ഷീണിതർ ശക്തി പ്രാപിക്കുമാറാകണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ വൃദ്ധ ജനങ്ങളെ താങ്ങണമേ യുവതിയുവാക്കന്മാരെ പരിപാലിക്കണമേ വൈദങ്ങളെ ജ്ഞാനത്തിലും ദൈവഭയത്തിലും വളർത്തണമേ മാതാവേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ സമീപസ്ഥരെ കാത്തുകൊള്ളുകയും ദൂരസ്ഥര സമാധാനത്തോട് തിരിച്ചു വരുത്തുകയും ചെയ്യണമേ പരിശുദ്ധ അമ്മേ ദുർബലർക്ക് കരുണ ലഭിക്കണമേ പാപികളുടെ കടങ്ങളും പാപങ്ങളും ക്ഷമിക്കണമേ മാതാവേ നിന്റെ മധ്യസ്ഥം ഉത്തമ പുരുഷന്മാർക്ക് സുഹൃത സ്ത്രീകൾക്കും അഭയസ്ഥാനമായിരിക്കണമേ വിശ്വാസികളായി ഞങ്ങളെ മരിച്ചു പോയവർക്ക് കരുണ ലഭിക്കുമാറാകണമേ ദുഷ്യമനുഷ്യരുടെ ഉപദ്രവങ്ങൾ നിന്നും അസൂയക്കാളിൽ നിന്നും ഞങ്ങളെ രക്ഷിക്കണമേ നിർദ്ദേഹരായ ജനങ്ങളെ ഞങ്ങൾ നിന്നും അകറ്റണമേ തിരുസഭയെയും അതിൻ്റെ മക്കളെയും സംരക്ഷിക്കണമേ മാതാവേ നിന്നിൽ ആശ്രയിക്കുന്നവർക്ക് ആശ്രയിക്കുന്നവർ സുരക്ഷിതരായി തീരണമേ പ്രേക്ഷകരമായ നിന്റെ പരിശുദ്ധതയുടെ മുൻപിൽ നിൽക്കുന്ന ഈ നിന്റെ ദാസരുടെ അപേക്ഷകളെയും ജാഗരണങ്ങളെയും നീ സ്വീകരിക്കണമേ ഇവിടെ എല്ലാവിധമായ രോഗങ്ങളെയും സുഖപ്പെടുത്തണമേ മാതാവേ നിന്റെ കരുണയിൻ കൂട്ടി ഇവരെ ചുറ്റിക്കൊണ്ട് പൈശാചിക ബന്ധനങ്ങളിൽ നിന്നും എല്ലാവിധ അപകടങ്ങളിൽ നിന്നും കാത്തുകൊള്ളണമേ നിന്റെ വിശുദ്ധതയുടെ മറയവർക്ക് അഭയസ്ഥാനമായിരിക്കണമേ ഇന്നിവിടെ സന്നിഹിതനായിരിക്കുന്ന ഈ നിന്റെ മക്കളുടെ ഭൗതികവും ആധ്യാത്മികവുമായ ജീവിതത്തിൽ ഇവർ വിജയികളായിരിക്കണമേ രഹസ്യവും പരസ്യവുമായ ജീവിതത്തിലുണ്ടാകാവുന്ന എല്ലാ ശത്രുക്കളിൽ നിന്നും ഇവരെ സംരക്ഷിക്കണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ മാതാവേ ഞങ്ങളെയും തിരുസഭയെയും നിന്റെ പുരോഹിതന്മാരെയും ശമാശന്മാരെയും സന്യസ്രയെയും എല്ലാ കുടുംബങ്ങളെയും ഇവിടെ സന്നിധരായിരിക്കുന്ന ഈ ജനത്തെയും കാത്തുകൊള്ളണമേ ഞങ്ങൾ ശബ്ദമുയർത്തി മൂന്ന് പ്രാവശ്യം കുറിയലായി സോനെന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു കുറിയലായി സോ കുറിയലായി സോ കുറിയലായി സോ രക്ഷക നാം ശിഹ ഞങ്ങൾ തൻ ശ്രേഷ്ഠ
പരിശുദ്ധ ദൈവമാതാവിൻ്റെ ജന്മ തിരുനാൾ ആഘോഷത്തിൽ പങ്കുചേർന്ന നിങ്ങളെയും നിങ്ങളുടെ നിയോഗങ്ങളെയും ഇന്ന് പ്രഥമ ദേവി കാരണം സ്വീകരിച്ച ഈ മക്കളെയും ഈ ഇടവകയുടെ പൊതുവായ നിയോഗങ്ങളെയും ദൈവമായ കർത്താവ് അനുഗ്രഹിച്ച് പുണ്യപ്പെടുത്തുമാറാകട്ടെ പിതാവും പുത്രനും പരിശുദ്ധരൂഹായുമായ ദൈവമേ ബലഹീനവും കുറവുമുള്ളതുമായ ഞങ്ങളുടെ പ്രാർത്ഥനകളും തിരുനാളാഘോഷങ്ങളും നേർച്ച കാഴ്ചകളും അങ്ങേ ഉന്നത സിംഹാസനത്തിന് മുൻപാകെ കേൾക്കപ്പെട്ടവയും അംഗീകരിക്കപ്പെട്ടവയും ആക്കി തീർക്കണമേ ക്ഷേമാബോ വബറോ റൂഹോ ഖാദീശോ ഓശോ വബുക്കോൽ ശുഭാ let me also thank god with you for this wonderful day wonderful morning and for allowing us graciously to participate in the divine liturgy and in the intercessory prayers and also let me thank our tirumeni for leading us in this liturgy so beautifully with a profound and deep message on the eucharist let us all reflect on it again and again and let us try to receive the holy communion in a worthy manner thank you tirumeni uh, for leading the liturgy and uh, for giving the first communion to all these wonderful four boys so now jeevan steven rayon and stefan so congratulations to you and yesterday as i was asking you the questions how you are going to receive 
uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. You all studied very well, and you all were well trained by Reverend Sister Sida and Sister Kanjana. They uh, really did a good work, and especially Sister Sida was uh, doing all the academic part, and Sister uh, Kanjana was with all the other things. Uh, even yesterday, uh, she was here till 11 o'clock, uh, was helping with all the other arrangements. And thank you, Sister Sida and Sister Kanjana. <laughs> and let me also congratulate your parents, uh, Jinsi Simon, Dania Gracian, uh, Benjamin and Rani, uh, and Binu and uh, Sangeet. Uh, as three many mentioned, you took such a great initiative for this, uh, uh, for the reception of your children's Holy Communion. So you really made it a big event. Uh, and they always do the follow-up with your action and with your word so that they may always be filled with our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, thank you. And all the siblings and all the family members, I see some of the grandparents, congratulations to you too, and all the family members, and to you, all my dear uh, uh, parish parishioners, and also I see a lot of guests here. Thank you for coming. Let me also ex extend a word of thanks to our beautiful choir today. And thank you very much for singing and helping us with beautiful songs. <laughs> and also to Tambachan for making all the arrangements on the altar, along with my dear loving altar, wonderful altar boys. Thank you so much, the altar boys. <laughs> thank you, John, uh, for helping us with the sound. John and Binu here, Anu always with us. Thank you, the photographers and uh, the Mother's Forum and the Parish Council. And especially today, I should thank uh, Rinsi, our secretary. Where is she? Oh, she's here, right. OK. Uh, Rinsi, thank you very much. Yesterday, she was also there with the parents uh, to do the beautiful decorations here in the church and in the basement you are going to see. Uh, so thank you very much, Rinsi. You all were. I, when it was 11 o'clock, I said, you all have to go back because I have to close the church and go to sleep. So finally, they went. They left. Thank you very much for going and obeying my words yesterday. <laughs> and uh, once again, thanks to all. Uh, and Binu Jain is not here today on a special thing, but yesterday he arranged everything, our treasurer. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Binu Jacob, and uh, everyone who are here. Let me do the announcements. First, the bands of marriage. The marriage between James Thomas, son of Mr. Saji Thomas and Mrs. Walsapur, Saji residing in Westbury, New York, of our parish, and Jennifer Philippos, daughter of Mr. John Philippos, and Mr. Mrs. Le Lisa Ma John residing in Louisville, Texas, is scheduled to be held on September 10th, 2022, at St. Vincent de Paul Cathedral, uh, Parish Almond. If there is any canonical impediment to this marriage, kindly bring, at it, bring it to the attention of the pastor. This is the third announcement. The marriage between Binoy Babukuti, son of Mr. Babukuti Tundiath, and Mrs. Lisa Babukuti, residing in Bayside Hills, New York of our parish, and Sneha George, daughter of Mr. Abraham George, and Mrs. Sheba George, residing in New Hyde Park, New York, is scheduled to be held on September 24, 2022, at St. Vincent de Paul Cathedral Parish, Elmont. If there is any canonical embodiment to this marriage, kindly, kindly bring it to the attention of the pastor. This is the first announcement. So um, I'll, I'll go with the one announcement, and then you go with that. Uh, so we, our Sunday school is starting on the next week. So remember, we are going to start the Sunday school, the new academic year, the next week at 8.30 a.m. next Sunday at 8.30 a.m. Uh, in the morning. So please, all the parents, please make sure that your children are coming on time. Thank you very much. And also, there is a, a camp for the grade is 6 through 12th. Uh, a registration link is sent out to the parents group. So timeline strictly um, made to uh, till September 30th. September timeline. Jobinachan can arrange all the other things, the facilities and all those things. So please, uh, if you you know, I encourage everyone to part every children, those who are in from grade 6 to 12 to participate uh, in that camp, uh, uh, officially coordinated by the MCCL of our party. Rinsi, please. 
Good afternoon, everybody. Um, last week we had our family day, and the raffle ticket second prize winner was Mrs. Mina Cherian. So um, see me later, Chichi, for the gift. Um, this first prize still has yet to be claimed. The winning ticket number is 0381320. I sent an email about it last week, so if you have that winning ticket, please bring it to either me or Achin to claim the first prize. If you have not received your picnic prizes, um, please see me uh, later today to receive them. And we are still collecting $100 per family for Pit and Law, so you can see me or uh, give it to Binu Jacob via Zell. Today, lunch has been sponsored by the families of our first communicants, so thank you to them. And now I'd like to invite our first holy communicants to say a few words of thanks. As they are coming, let me also express our gratitude to Simi. Yesterday, she was also there for the decorations. And let me also thank you all for making our family night the last week so wonderful. Thank you very much. Please come. All the four. All the four, come. You're going to get the mic. Yeah. Sanji, you can help them with the mic. Okay? So who's going to say first? Stefan, you? Rio. Good afternoon, His Excellency, Reverend Dr. Philippos Moss Stephanos, Reverend Barbara Nobi INF, Reverend Sister Kanchana SIC, Reverend Sister Rosita SIC, the Reverend Pat Patchesson, teachers, parents, guests, and friends. First, we will like to Thank our Heavenly Father for making us worthy to receive the Holy Spirit through the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Next, we would like to thank the Lord with two many for blessing us with the Holy Spirit and glorifying today's wonderful Holy Mass with His presence. We would also like to extend our sincere thanks to our beloved Nobiatin for spending lots of his precious time to train us to receive the Holy Eucharist. We truly appreciate your dedication. Next, we would like to thank our beloved sister, Sita and Conchina, for spending lots of their precious time for training us and gathering many things necessary for this special day. Next, we would like to thank our beloved catechism principal, Mrs. Jenny Chaco, and all our teachers for their outstanding support to grow in faith. Next, we would like to thank our beloved parents, sisters, and brothers for all their support and guidance in all these days. Next, we would like to thank the church se secretary, uh, Rinzianti, tre and treasurer, Binuanko, and all the community members for their outstanding support. Next, we would like to thank all our relatives and guests who came from various places and having glorified today's ceremony with their presence. Next, we would like to thank Mr. George Thomas and all members of our choir for their amazing voices and music in today's Holy Mass. Next, we would like to thank all of the altar servers for their amazing support in today's Bruno Mass. Next, we would like to thank Mrs. Simi Ajit and Mrs. Shirley Prakash for, help, for helping set up the amazing decorations for the basement. Finally, we would like to thank Mr. Don for keeping the church neat and clean for us all the time. Once again, we thank everybody for all their blessings, and we request you all to pray for us to grow in faith with Jesus Christ. Thank you, everybody. Now you can go back to your seats. Remaining. Yeah, we are going to wind up. You want to congratulate and do that, otherwise we are going to. Otherwise, we have a special gift for all of you from the Rimeni. That is the most okay. precious gift, that is the Bible and the Rosary. So that the Rimeni will be giving you after this. Well, I spoke extensively during the homily. I don't do, want to make another felicitation speech. All the same, on behalf of the entire party, I extend our cordial congratulations and felicitations to the first communicants and to their parents and all those who made this day 
possibly and meaningfully. A special way in OBHA, thank you for your super organization of the feast of the day and uh, preparing these kids and make this day a most memorable one in their lives. Once again, thank you one and all. I wish you a blessed feast day and uh, the continued celebration of our feast celebrations until the 8th of September, where we, when we celebrate the great feast of the nativity of Mother Mary. God, may God bless and the intercession of Mary be with us all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tirumeni. We, once again, a reminder for uh, the coming forthcoming days uh, celebrations. So we have every day yeah, the uh, rosary followed by the evening prayer and the holy mass uh, 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 from six o'clock. And on the eighth, Eusebius Tirumeni and Abraham Achen will be joining us for the mass. Uh, so please make sure that uh, we are participating in all these functions. Thank you. So let me invite Jeevan Vorghese to come forward and receive a gift from the remaining. Come forward. Congratulations, Jeevan. Stephen Joseph. Rion Vorghese. Stefan Simon. So that's it. The rest of the things are in the basement. So once again, thank you all. Thank you, Tirumeni. Thank you very much. And congratulations to all the four boys. Yeah, we'll uh, the photo session after this, after the Kaimutu. Uh, or we'll just take a picture now. Then we'll take the, all the four together. No, yeah, yeah. later, later, we'll do it later. Okay, one picture, come. All, all, all the four boys. Sisters. Come, come. I'm sorry. Thank you. 
Yeah, thank you. Now it's the time for the photography. So the first photo will be uh, with the older boys. Okay, all the four boys. We thank you for our paparazzi, our photographers. Always have been so perfect. Come. Steven, come. Yeah. Sisters. Any on the wherever you want to look at it. Okay. 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 Uh, no, no. Vinci. Stefan, come here. Yeah, say your name. India maternity. Yeah, this side. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh your dad and okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no. Angle, angle, angle. Okay, so around here a lot of people, I think, take pictures. So all of us, 
uh, can go down and uh, get uh, the, you know do the arrangements for the cutting of the cake and all the other things. So others can go down. So you come. Yeah. I'll Come in. First, Binu Sangeeta and Pichana Machi. Then the other one will come. Okay? Not another. Please share number of mm -hmm. After this photo, you others can join. You know? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. The world is not like family members. Make it a one picture, big picture. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you very much. Thank you. We'll see you.